I need to light my candle because I can't be a real YouTuber without having a candle in the background. Much better. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me. I actually saw a video last night on the Kale Polish or Kathleen Light's Nail Polish Line YouTube channel. It popped up in my um, recommended and it was on this look and I thought it was gorgeous and I decided to try and recreate it and I think it came out pretty pretty. Like it's not something I'd wear to like Target or anything but it's definitely something fun, a little different. It was actually pretty easy to do and I just thought it'd be fun to do like a little chit chat get ready and catch up and see what's going on so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up so I don't subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in a second to see how we got this makeup look okay here we go all right so let's get started with the eyes so I already added some tape and primed my lids and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia modern renaissance palette and I'm actually gonna be trying to recreate a Kathleen lights tutorial it actually was on her kale polish website or YouTube channel whatever um, and I thought it was really really pretty and she has green eyes I have green eyes so I want to see if I can recreate it so let's see if I remember um, I'm first gonna go in with the shade Bon Fresco <laughs> I'm not saying that right but this is just the like light lavender matte shade and I'm just putting this into the crease and it's supposed to be super messy this is supposed to be like a a um like a halo eye that's what it's called a halo so sometimes those work out for me a lot of the time they don't so I'm just going to buff this and I want to keep it kind of high and just buff it messily into the crease and the reason I'm doing my eyes first is because with this palette, there's a lot of fallout. And I'm going to be using some pretty bold colors, and I don't want that to get stuck in, like, concealer or something. So we're just going to do this first. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Love Letter, which is, like, a very vibrant pink. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner, and then also on the inner corner to do that halo thing. And I'm going to be kind of messy with it because that's what the girl who was doing the shadows on Kathleen was doing. And she seemed to actually know what she was talking about. So I'm just kind of like following her direction. Also, my eye keeps freaking watering. Does that happen to anybody else when they use tape or something? My eye is watering and it's like, kind of I don't know, making like a weird bubble. But it's okay because we could always just fix it later. That's the beauty of eyeshadow. Okay, so I have to ask, what do you guys think of the new Taylor Swift song? Because I was super, super excited. It's about time she brings out a new album because she is like one of my favorites, which I know is like basic of me to say, but it's the truth. I don't really like many other people. Like, I'll be honest, I just got Spotify so I could listen to the song. And I'm still like not quite sure how I feel about it like when I first listened to it I think I was just really disappointed because I did not like it at all I was like this sounds stupid like I don't like it's just a little too like try hardy for me you know but the more you listen to it like the better it kind of gets except for that one part in the chorus that it's like cheesy but um, I just listened to it again and I mean it's sounding like better and better and now of course I like know all the words to it but I don't know how I feel about it as like a whole like this is definitely probably one of my least favorite songs by her but like it's still okay I think I don't really know what do you guys think um now I'm gonna go in with the shade of Venetian Red which is just a little bit deeper and I'm just gonna go with the same brush and just kind of go over the pink just to deepen it up a little bit. But yeah, what do you guys think? Because even my boyfriend listened to it. And he's like, what is this? And I'm like, I don't know. It's something. Um, but. Uh. And now with a smaller brush, I'm going to take a little bit of Cypress Umber and mix it in with the Venetian Red. And just concentrate this in the outer corner. Just to deepen things up. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of blending with a clean brush. Okay, I'm going to take the tape off too because it's literally like damp under there. And I hate the word damp, but it is like the only thing appropriate to say. Like you can see kind of how like wet it is. Oh, no good. And then I'm just going to take whatever is left over on the brush that we use for all of the colors and just kind of go over everything. A little bit. Maybe I'll add a little bit more of the 
Von Fresco, that first shade we used, just to blend a little better. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so in the tutorial, the makeup artist used a little bit of shape tape from Tarte just to really like blank out that middle part of the eye. So the shimmery shade is really going to pop. So I'm going to do that too. So now I'm going to take the shade Primavera, and I don't know if I'm going to add Fix Plus to it or not. I don't know. We'll try it just blank. Ooh, uh, this shade is so pretty. I honestly don't think it even needs Fix Plus. Like, it really doesn't. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of blending. Just to make it look a little bit more seamless, like a little bit. And then maybe a little bit more sparkle. A little bit more blending. So now I'm just going to highlight underneath the brow using the shade, uh, if you can see it, uh, Tempura. Tempura? I don't know. And this is actually a really pretty highlight shade. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but it's a good one. So I went ahead and cleaned up any fallout and we're ready for the face. Now you'll see a theme. There's a lot of moisturizing products in here because my face is so, so dry. So I'm going to be using two primers. First one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And I'm going to use this all over my face. And then the other one is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer, which I hate saying, but it's so, so good. So for foundation, I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint because, again, my skin is so, so dry. And I don't even know why because it's so humid outside right now. It's been literally raining for days. Like, let's just say I have lakefront property right now because of the rain. Like, it's overflowing and I'm really glad I'm not on the bottom floor because I'd be worried that like there'd be actual flooding soon so that's great but it is kind of nice to have like rainy days since it doesn't happen all the time here I mean it'll rain for like an hour or so just about every day but you very rarely get like a full rainy day and sometimes you just need that like it's good for the soul and to conceal I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealer shocker I know this is actually quite quite good if you have dry under eyes because it has a little hydro core in the center it's actually like a total dupe for the benefit concealer with the little hydro core because it's actually the same exact thing but for a fraction of the price so that's good going to set the concealer with my cover fx perfect setting powder i don't want to set my whole face because it's dry so if you don't set it you'll be a creasy mess but after you set it you're fine now back to eyeshadows i'm going to add a few colors to the lower lash line first one is venetian red and i'm just going to take that with a little flat top brush and just concentrate this on like the outer corner oh, we have a, a hair that's cute And then to blend it out, I'm going to go in with that Bon Fresco, Fresco, whatever it's called shade, with a fluffy pencil brush and just do a little bit of blending. And then, of course, we have to do a little bit of inner corner work. So I'm going to take the shade Vermeer, Vermeer, God, I can't say any of these, um, but it's just a pretty shimmery shade. And I'm just going to pop that right here. It's a little something, something. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do lashes and brows, and I'll be right back. And I'm back with the eyes done, so now let's bronze up the face. I'm going to be using my Laguna bronzer from NARS, and just going a little crazy with it because I feel super, super pale. But another thing I wanted to talk about today, and this might come off weird, but like, whatever, um, but I have had the past week off of work. Um, just because we were closed, whatever, whatever. And so I've had a lot of free time. I didn't want to go on, like, a vacation or anything because I didn't really want to go anywhere. Like, I just wanted to stay home, be lazy, like, reorganize, just kind of get stuff done that you never really have time for. Now, while also doing all of that, I also have more time to focus on my YouTube channel, which, in case you don't know, I do have a full-time job. This is just kind of, like, for fun. But I would like it to grow because, I mean, who wouldn't want to see something you're passionate about? 
just drop in the bronzer. As I was saying, who wouldn't want to see something you're passionate about grow? Because that's just kind of, that's nice, you know? And so having like a whole week to really kind of focus on it and kind of pretend like I'm like a full-time YouTuber, I realize how much time you really do have and how much effort you can really put into your channel. And that brings me to something that gives me like the most, not stress and anxiety, but just like so much annoyance is when people are like full-time YouTubers, but they struggle to put up like a video a week, maybe two videos. And I'm just like, mm, I don't know. I follow a lot of people that are like me that have like a full-time job and other things going on. And they're also able to put up like three videos a week and be super engaging and not just put up like, you know, a two minute video about like nothing. I don't know, it's just like a little bit of food for thought. It's kind of interesting to kind of be on like that side, even if it is just for a week. I, I mean, dang, if I was like a full-time like content creator, I could film so many videos. But I don't know, seeing people that don't really understand or like value it, it's kind of frustrating. And if you make videos out there and you like kind of feel me on this, let me know. Oh, and also I'm using blush. I'm using Tarte's Exposed. Um, but I don't know, am I the only one who thinks this? Because I really don't think I am. For highlighter, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Chrome. This is like the new best highlighter at the drugstore. I really, really like it. So pretty. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. But with that said though, I have gotten to film like every other day whenever I like do my hair or like I'm in the mood, I can film all the videos and I'm going to be so ahead. I'm so excited. It's going to be so, so good. Now, of course, I understand like some of the like really, really big YouTubers that only post once a week. They have like other things going on and other like projects. So I get that. But the people that like don't, you're just kind of like living your best life, going to home goods all the time. Like, come on, come on. So finally for lips, I'm going to be using my NARS, what is this even called? Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade American Woman. This is like the most bizarre applicator, it's literally like a point. And it is a super thin liquid lipstick, but the color is gorgeous, so I love it so much. Okay, everyone, so that is everything for this chit-chat. Get ready with me. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up so I know. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye, y'all.